Dame who lives here is a total clean freak. There's not an edible bug for miles. We haven't eaten in three weeks. Not since my birthday when you took me to that uh, specialty bug restaurant. What was that place called? Oh, you mean crickets by Jiminy? The cricket and capers was a little underdone, but hey, look. I most certainly haven't forgotten. <laughs> Little does she know I've got Wendy Elizabeth, the greatest present of all. The thing I know that she's been dreaming about all year long. I can't wait for her to open it up. Now, before we open your gifts, let's all have a nice slice of birthday cake. Yay! Look, Wendy Elizabeth, the cake's made out of your favorite food. Oh, boy, goose liver pate and mayonnaise with little bits of peppermint. And look, your name is spelled out with hot bacon. Yum! And here's some of your favorite thirst quencher. Room temperature cola with little pieces of old yogurt floating in it. Wow, you thought of everything! <laughs> open your gifts, open your gifts! Wow, a chili flavored tongue compressor! All right! A steam powered staple gun! Hey, a festive doorknob cover! Thanks! I, I'm very, um, uh, happy. I. So, that's it, huh? You certainly made out like a little bandit, didn't you, dear? Well, yeah, I mean, I was just hoping for, you know, you know. Meow. Mm -hmm. Huh? Eek! I... Oh, you shouldn't have. I... Yay! It's here! This is it! Oh, Eek, this is what I wanted most of all. <gasps> My very own Squishy Bear's inflatable termite farm! Isn't it wonderful? Oh, Eek! It's the most wonderful gift a girl could ever hope for! Oh, good heavens, children. <gasps> it's time you skedaddled off to school. Oh, Mom, I don't want to go to school. Can't I stay here and play with my little termite farmers? Now, Wendy and Elizabeth, you know there'll be plenty of time for you to play with your amazing new gift at the end of the school day. Just think, you'll have that to look forward to all day long. Oh, okay. I can't wait for this school day to be over so that I can play with my new termite farm. So long, little insect farmers. See you after school. Well, this is interesting. I've always wanted to learn Spangalese, just in case I'm ever in Spanga. Maloa koi hoba haba. My tapeworm washed the car. Maloa koi hoba haba. Gosh, these little guys sure are industrious. Hi, guys. Hi, Mr. Farmer Termite. <gasps> oh, bang! Tire Nation! Gee, I'm sorry, fellas. Look, you guys stay right here, and I'll go get you a new piece of glass. Don't go away. Come on, Caps Lock. Now's our chance. <laughs> Soup song! Phew. Wiggle-o, woggle-hoggle. Where can I scrub my eyeballs? Wiggle-o, woggle ha There we are. Good as new, little hey! Kumbaya, I better find those defenseless little termites and get them back inside their termite farm before Wendy Elizabeth gets home from school. 
I wonder where they could have gotten to. I hope nothing bad has happened to those poor little guys. And boy, will Wendy Elizabeth ever be upset. Oh, no. Psst. Hey, Mr. Pussycat, down here. Oh, thank goodness. A termite. But hey, where are the rest of your farmer pals? It was terrible. A couple of hungry-looking spiders chased us out of the safe confines of our farmland. We got separated, and the spiders ran after my friends. We've got to go help them. Don't fear, little termite. If we both work together, we should be able to find your pals pronto. I'm Eek the Cat. What's your name? Well, my real name is Myron Ahmed Hyman Johnson Bug-Eye Philagadusha III, but everyone just calls me Termy. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, Termy, you'll be safe here while we search the house. Now, where could your little bug buddies be? Yes, May? Do you know the serial number on the bumper of that 1958 Thunderbird? Yes, May? <laughs> Come back here, you tender morsels! Bugs! Oh, my goodness, they always say if there's one, there's another, and another, and another, and probably all nest of them. Hello? Bugs and panic exterminators? I believe I have a bug problem. Oh, yes, I saw quite a few. Ugh. Are you sure you can't just talk them out? You have to destroy them all in such a horrible fashion. But it seems so cruel. Yes, I realize they're just bugs, but it seems like such a terrible way to destroy one of nature's marvels, one of Earth's precious creatures, one of... Mm, I get the sweaty yellow one. Mm, yummy! Bring all the bug poison you have and hurry! If there's a single bug in this house, I want it squashed! Kumbaya, this is all my fault! We gotta get my bug pals out of the house before them spiders eat them or the exterminator gasses them. Don't worry, Termy. I won't let anything happen to you or your bug pals. You're safe with me. Eek, there's one on you! <laughs> oh, you're safe now, Eek. I got him. This is George Bailey, the richest man in Bedford Falls. <laughs> my book report today is about my favorite book called Old Greeny. Old Greeny is the touching saga of an old crusty dog who's full of holes and smells like cheese. No one in the village liked to play with Old Greeny, except for one little boy whose head was made of wood. One day, a bitter woodpecker ran over the boy's head with a tractor. Old Greeny, the stinky dog, was left with no one to play with. So, he ran away, and no one ever heard from him again. The end. <sighs> Will this day never end? Hello there, may I help you? I heard you had bugs. Well, yes, but we called an exterminator. I am the exterminator. I see one, I see one, it's on you. It's just a little piece of lint. Oh, I hate bugs. But if you're a bug exterminator, how do you exterminate them? I wear protection. That's very 90s of you. I wear this. <gasps> In this suit, I am indestructible. No bug shall escape the wrath of the Exterminator. Kumbaya, the Exterminator is here. We gotta move fast. I suggest you leave the house for a while, ma'am. I must seek out to destroy the Queen Bug. It may not be a pretty sight, since often the Queen Bug can get pretty big and ugly and can make a disturbing, squishy, crunchy sound when stepped on. Well, I do have my karate lesson. I'll be back in a couple of hours. A wise idea, I assure you. All right, Queenie, your thorax is mine. I don't know, Leek. That exterminator looks all business. We'll just have to talk to him, Termy. I'm sure he'll be receptive to our plight. Maybe he's lost termite farmers of his own once. Come on! hi <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Hi! Morning! The Queen! It must be destroyed!
think we better run. Just make an incision here, and here, and here, or here, and here, and here, and here. A complete recovery. It's a miracle. <laughs> All right, children, ready your sewing machines. I must admit, Wendy Elizabeth, you certainly do have the most beautiful termites in the whole wide world. Oh, Ivana, you're a darling. Wendy? Wendy Elizabeth. Unconscious. I'll have to perform CPR. <gasps> Termy! Thank goodness you're all right. Gee, you saved my life. I could have drowned. You are glowing strangely, Termy. Oh, well, so does my cousin Leonard, the lightning bug. It never hurt him. Come on, let's go rescue my friends. I'm over first. Gotcha. What the heck kind of creepy bug is this? Well, any bug this big, purple, and hideous shouldn't be around to create any more of its kind. It must be destroyed. Hi, you mean old exterminator. <clears throat> That's my friend. for saving me, Termy. Say, you look a little taller to me somehow. Us bugs grow pretty fast, I guess. No time for that now, Termy. We gotta find your buddies. Yeah, I hope those bad old spiders haven't done anything horrible to them. Oh, that was really quite jarring. Gee, thanks, Mr. Puppy Dog. Oh, 
Jinx or something? Hey, what's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a, a giant termite. Come on, snap out of it, snap out of it. Hold it, Shermie. Don't hurt them. They're just doing what spiders do as part of the natural balance of the universe. Really? Sure. All little creatures should live in harmony. Of course we should. Sure, watch this. <coughs> Save us. Save us. Save us! Here you go, little bug pals. You're all safe now. Well, almost all of you, anyway. Gee, Termy, we gotta find a way to get you back to your old tiny self. Yeah, Eek. And we better hurry. Kubaya! Mr. Exterminator! Hello, I'm home. Uh-oh, Termy. Try and keep quiet. I'll disguise you. Hello, Eek. Playing with the termites? That's where bugs belong, in an enclosed artificial environment where their natural state can be observed. Well, I'd better get to the kitchen and fix a snack. The kids will be home from school soon enough. We've got to find a doctor who knows how to shrink house-sized bugs. You two aren't going anywhere. You're an abomination of nature. I will see to it that you two never make you buy. <laughs> when people help others in difficult times. something. Yippee! Now we can get you back to your termite farm with your pals. Gee, I wonder what ever happened to Sharky and that exterminator. Oh, they're okay. They're in here with me. Down, boy, down. Last time, he's my favorite. 